Hey guys, this is Game of Cow playing the Genius of Sepharos Weekend, and this is just going to be a quick part 0.5 so that we can very briefly show you how the extra characters are unlocked, and I guess also go into Akyu as well, because we kind of need to do that. But this is, just so you know, this is the Hakure Shrine, obviously, the uh, giant thing here, kind of... Uh, border gate show, shows you that and this is where you go on the overworld if you want to save these yellow rings are you know the spell circles are saves so that is a hard save you can also do a soft save by opening the game menu and uh, basically doing that that saves an emergency sort of backup but it's not a you know hard save this game does do very well at saving game backups though. You can save up to 999 backup saves at any one time. It's kind of ridiculous actually. So yeah. Anyway, if you need, as, as it's saying here, basically if you need that, you also do save after leaving a dungeon, which is interesting. You used to lose all your items in a dungeon if you were defeated, but not so much anymore because Weekend actually patched that out, so... But the actual text and stuff won't have been changed for that, so any help things that we see may uh, not... Uh, they may not actually tell you that. They may tell you that you still lose all your stuff, but you don't. You used to not even be able to equip the stuff, I don't think, because uh, it used... When I played this game originally, the... Um, the items were all yellowed out until you were um, until you left the dungeon. Also, as it said, that they uh, the save circles are also heal points. So that's the only way that we will recover uh, lives, bombs, etc. We'll go into what all of that is when we start part one for actually doing battles and stuff. But for now, I think we shall go ahead and visit our dear friend Akio. So yeah, we're coming on in. So Akio is actually not somebody I've that's uh, noted in the official, like the main games. I don't think she's from the print works, and I've never actually read the print works. But basically, as far as I know, she is the recorder of all the events of Gensokyo. So she's basically the history, <laughs> the history book person of all of Gensokyo, which is why her and Kiene get along so well, because Kiene is basically the devourer of, and writer of history herself, I guess, so... So yeah. Unfortunately, she doesn't know what's going on either, which is a shame, but... Yeah. However, that does not mean that Akio is useless. She will do one very important thing for for us here and it's something that we're not gonna get into for a few parts but yeah we will we can get stuff from her basically so synthesis recipes that is what she gives so there's a crafting system in this game it's a very uh, simplified crafting system but it's a crafting system nonetheless so weapons and things you will want to make although having said that you don't need to make all the weapons because the weapons that you get in the stages are actually fairly good some of them are anyway so yeah yep so basically when we get access to Corindo for Renosuke we will uh, go ahead and do that you know but we don't have access to it immediately, so that's why we're not going yet. But in, in due time, we will do that. So yeah, essentially, every time that we clear stages, we um, we go back to Aku and we get more stuff. Uh, more, more stuff to craft, basically. So yeah. So we start off Guy Blade. Uh, I think that's a spear. There's a, there's a few different weapon types. Again, we'll go into we'll go into what they are later. There's also shields. Again, we'll go into that when it's relevant. And then different armor types. 
Incidentally, if we go back in, then talk to her again, we have info about Moko. So Moko is a character that you will be able to unlock later, but you can unlock her early if you find her, essentially. And to find Moko, you uh, once you've talked to Aku a second time, the spot here will open up. And this is not a spot which stays around all the time. This is the puzzling bamboo thicket that uh, you saw at the start of the game in the opening cutscene with Moko. And it's basically a Lost Woods style area. It's got four different ways around it, and if you go down, you know, you can exit, I believe. Eventually, maybe. Maybe you can't even do that, who knows? You might just be stuck here forever. That'd be kind of, kind of weird, but... Yeah, so essentially you uh, kind of suck here until you solve this, I guess. And, well, it's basically made on an old school thing. I mean, you could just reset the game and you'd exit this place, I believe. But it's essentially built up on an old thing. And there you go, that's how you actually leave. So there is that. I suppose I didn't even, I didn't even know, because you don't usually uh, encounter that. But if you go ahead and up, up, down, down. Maybe you just this after so many times or something. But anyway, left, right, left, right. You find Moko. So basically, it's the Konami code, which I wouldn't have actually known myself because I never interacted with Konami stuff at all, to be honest, but yes, the Konami code in is the direction set that you need to go, and when you do that, you find Moko, and you convince her, <laughs> how dare you make us walk all over, damn it, Raymer, <laughs> shut up, oh dear, uh -huh. so basically, we're going to ask her about the missed instant, and, uh, yep, uh huh. So basically, we are going to get Moko to join. And she's like, Yeah, Yokai have been hurt, and I want to know what's going on, so sure, I'll join. Yes. That is true, because all the Yokai that she'd be patrolling against are kind of uh, on the floor in pain. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Moko is the character you unlock at stage 9, So, and you also get a formation with her as well, but that's not too important. And then as you see, the, the bamboo thicket disappears, so it's only to get Moko. Now the other character you can get at the start of the game is a character you unlock even later than that, but if you go to the other place that's available, uh, Byakuren is the other character that we'll be looking to recruit. However, Byakuren isn't in right now, so yeah, we have uh, Murasa to, to answer to instead. So yay, uh, Byakuren is indeed not present today. Because Byakuren also went to investigate, this uh, again was hinted at at the beginning of the, the game in the opening cutscene stuff. So yeah. And she doesn't exactly know. Uh, she doesn't know anything about it. Marasa doesn't know where she's gone. So, and who knows when Biakuin's gonna come back, right? Because Biakuin didn't really say anything. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe she'll just perform a thing, or maybe she won't return until like forever. It's a bit of a pain, right? So, Raymond is going to be like, well, we could wait for her to come back, or we could just get moving. So, yeah, Raymond's like, we just need to get moving. So, that's the thing. But, there was the hint there of we could wait. 
and find and uh, basically find her. Yeah, it kind of does. Kind of pains us. But yeah, uh, the game hints that she might come back. However, <laughs> okay, so the thing is, she does come back, but it takes one literal real time hour for her to come back. So for the sake of completeness, I will actually show this, but I will pause the recording until she does come back. But yeah, we literally have to wait a full hour before she comes back and the cutscene triggers. Now, just before I go for this, the reason no, there's two reasons I'm not using these characters. One is that well, they're kind of exceptionally good for the early game, and uh, it would at least one of them would potentially just break the game. I did get the characters when I first played through because, again, items and stuff were a lot harder to come by. I have since beaten up until getting Biarcaran without getting the you know these two characters early, and. It was there was one tricky part, but otherwise it really I didn't really miss them too much. So it's perfectly doable. And then the second reason is more or less for LP completeness purposes is that there is actually an extra cutscene that triggers when you get the characters normally. So I'm basically wanting to show those off. I've already shown them off on my channel before in the sense of uh, stream highlights, but you do miss out on the text that the characters would give you if you uh, meet them when you're supposed to. So we'll be doing that instead. But I have a literal hour to kill here, so I shall, you know, go ahead and do that. And when you next see me, which is like, you know, a few seconds from now, video time, we shall see the cutscene with Bjorka. Okay, conveniently, just after finishing a G-Rank expedition, we have uh, we have everyone returning. So, yeah, cutscene time again. Heck yeah, you know. As I guess the thing of a lot of RPGs is that they do start with a ton of cutscene stuff because you know the old expedition dump. Although in this case, it's more just a bonus material thing. But yeah, everyone is. Here because we wanted to see you. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. You made us wait for quite a while. But hey, they gave me a chance to do some other stuff, so heck yeah. Yes, so we are here regarding the instant because we want to recruit Biakaran, obviously. <laughs> yep, everybody wants to resolve it, so we want to work together. Which is a kind of unusual thing for Gensokyo to really do, but, you know, these sorts of situations call for it, I guess. <laughs> that was easy. Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. So, yeah, okay, basically Biakun's like, you guys are more experienced, I need to learn how this stuff gets handled. You don't really want to learn it from Reimu, but, you know. So, yeah. Huh. <laughs> you didn't need to add that. <laughs> yes. So basically, Biakura joins and we get her formation, which we won't really be seeing until later. So, it's basically, you know, that's basically it. Everything until we can, you know go to the next stage. This is as much as you could do. So yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I would show the characters off and their specialities and stuff, but I feel like that'd be better done when we get them proper. So I'm not actually going to show them off just now. So with that said, this is being you know, this is Game Account and this has been the Genius of Sapphires. 
somehow forgetting title names there, but yes, that's what this has been. And next time we start the adventure proper with our ban you know, our band of four girls, a merry band of women, to solve this mist incident, I guess, by taking on, well, the first person who started the mist incident before. So yeah, until then, take care.